Good evening, everyone. My name is Elspeth, and I just started at Ernest Versace five weeks ago. And the reason I joined Ernest Versace is because I wanted access to all the different ways a brand can be for you. So whether it's TV or digital, or as well as direct mail, whatever it is, I get the opportunity to do something. But I do have one more question for you this evening. Are you a male chauvinist? <coughs> Have you, or someone you know, exhibited signs of direct maleism? Have you said things like, male is doing more fashion, it's a bit long in the tooth, isn't it? Or it's too expensive, and what a waste of paper, it's just environmentally irresponsible. And no one ever opens direct mail anyway, well, just to a digital would be much easier. It takes too long to produce, or the wrong amount of service, it just isn't what it used to be. Just <laughs> it's getting better all the time. Another form of the prejudice is the obsession with the new. Do you feel that pressure with Facebook? How many likes you have versus your private? But what if you want to do something real? Something tangible, something people can taste, smell, see, touch, experience. Here's the sentence. Mail that you can see, done by Austria Silver. For their annual report last year, they sent out this. Or like, what, a blank book? What do you mean they sent out that? But then they gave instructions. And they said, take this book outside. Have you figured it out? When the sunlight hit the pages, because it's powered by solar energy, that's when you can see the actual <coughs> annual report. And it became the world's first annual report powered by solar energy. I thought this was a brilliant idea when I first saw it. Mail, you can eat. Gerstenberg publishes cookbooks. But they didn't feel like the big bookstores were taking on enough of their cookbooks. So they sent just a few key people this. The book you could cook. They had the messages inside these wonderful layers of pasta. And all you had to do was add extra ingredients, bake, and you could serve a family for dinner. Oh. Mail that has a heart for the animal relief headquarters. We all remember when the Japanese earthquakes struck last year, March 11, 2011, and many people were left homeless. But also, it meant a lot of animals and pets were left homeless as well as breaks were home. The dog not coming home. But they thought of a really interesting idea, just using a box. A box that delivered all the relief supplies. They figured out by just cutting it slightly differently and then you're just in the box. You can take the box that delivered the relief goods, take out the relief goods, and actually buy a pet house. That look like, I know, I know, it's, it's so wonderful. And for the mail, you can grow. Enel's lost paper bill. Enel provides electricity to remain. But they decided that, of course, they wanted to switch people from paper bills to online. So they sent them this, and they planned this. And it grows. And there's also mail that turns you into somebody else. But the Onsay Foundation did was they took a famous chef, the CEO of Coca Cola, and um, also the CEO of Microsoft, and they gave him a kind of disability, if you will, for two weeks. One of them was blind, one of them was deaf, and one of them was in a wheelchair. And they did a tremendous job documenting this in a full. And also advertising in a role, and also tremendous PR. But the genius of the campaign actually happened with the direct response, the direct mail. After people had seen all this activity going on, they sent them this. And they said, Now you've seen the film. Here's a blindfold. Experience it for yourself. Not only did this piece get a tremendous response, it actually worked. And there was a 65% increase and the number of jobs available to people who are disabled. Because at once they had been in their shoes, they understood how difficult it was to get a job. 
And the last one, and believe it or not, I laugh when I thought this, but milk you can smoke. And leave it to Snoop Dogg to come up with this. He launched Rolling Papers. He created a book, and it's the smokable songbook. So the cover is made of hemp, the inside, the rolling papers, all the lyrics of the songs are in that notebook, and he's so clever, or someone did it for him, I don't know, but you can even strike a match on the side and get smoke right away. So Snoop's book may only have been given to 50 people, but it generated one tweet a minute for 10 days. It led to acres of press coverage, and the product's apparently flying off the shelf. And the beauty of today's world is that whatever you do doesn't have to be sent to millions. But make it interesting enough, make it a really good idea, and actually keep it to send it on for you, just as I'm doing today. So please, don't allow male chauvinism to be part of your organization. Don't make old assumptions about what you think DM is or how difficult it is to do. And don't get carried away with the new. Make sure we have a balance for everything together and understand the great potential that you can do with DM and any creative person should be always open to any medium because there's no reason why you can't inject an idea as great thinking into anything. And whatever you do for your brand is imperative to somehow make what you stand for real. Thank you.